What exactly is symmetry? The experience many of us have in school is that mathematics is only about numbers. But here, I want to give you a glimpse into a beautiful mathematical subject that places numbers on the back burner and instead takes symmetries and patterns as its main objects of study. This subject is known by mathematicians as group theory and has applications in areas as wide ranging as particle physics, crystallography, and chemistry. So not only is group theory a beautiful subject, it is also incredibly useful. As the name suggests, group theory is a subject which centers around a precise mathematical object known as a group. Intuitively, a group is any symmetry of an object. So pick a specific object, say a checkerboard, and rotate it by 90 degrees. After this action, the board looks almost exactly the same, except now the color of the corners have flipped. So we have not preserved the original structure. Now go back to the original position and rotate it by 180 degrees instead. This time, the board looks exactly the same, so we can say that a 180 degree rotation is a symmetry of the checkerboard. Are there any other symmetries? The only other symmetry is if you rotate it by 360 degrees, but this is exactly the same as if you did nothing. Of course, you can also rotate by any integer multiple of 180 degrees, but any of these rotations will always just be equivalent to either doing nothing or to rotating by 180. So the checkerboard has only two symmetries. And believe it or not, this small collection is already a group. Now how would the symmetries change if we made all the squares the same color?